You want Paulo Costa next? Yeah, um, I saw him backstage. He iced me. Uh, I told Dana afterwards I want him, but they're not really um, keen on that yet. But I want that fight. I just think I want to take him out. He's that guy that everyone thinks, you know, he's unbeatable. He's this and that, blah, 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 blah. But I like challenges. My last fight was a good challenge. I aced it, and I think this guy's going to be another easy challenge I can take over. He's he's, he's not as impressive as people, as people think because he's fighting guys that just stand there. They're like punching bags, and he just gets to work them. So, And then look at his arms. He's like a little T-Rex anyway, so how is he going to catch me if I'm in and out? <laughs> so what's the problem? Why isn't Dana in Animal on it? style. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't he want it? Um, I think he wants it, but I don't know. Maybe his manager, the guy, like, you know, the gremlin, his manager is real weird and trying to act like they don't know me or some shit. They know who the fuck I am now. But, um, Valid, Valid Ishmael. Yeah, him, yeah. Valid. Talking like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy motherfucker. I like his expression. He's real passionate when he talks. Yes. Last question, Paulo Costa, you mentioned he won a, a, a performance bonus tonight. What did you think about his performance? And, and you're going, they released the schedule, you're going to Brazil in September. Is he someone that you could headline a card with yes. in Brazil? Yeah, I think that that kid is the next big Brazilian star. He's on his way, good looking, incredible physique, and fights like an animal. And uh, I was also impressed with Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall went out there. Now, the guy that I thought Uriah Hall was going to be at the end of the Ultimate Fighter was the guy that I saw fight tonight. That, that was the guy that I expected him to be after the Ultimate Fighter. He fought an incredible fight tonight. He was in his face. He, he was, uh, you know, every time he'd get hit, he'd punch back with two or three punches, kicks. It, and it, it was awesome. Great fight. Listen, yeah. listen. I don't know if this is appropriate, but I'm on the Metro PCS couch. My man Chuck Liddell, Demetrius Johnson, Chris Wyman. We filming right now. But listen, George, uh, you hear me calling. You hear me. I, I'm looking for the fight. Don't make me seem like an asshole. Don't make me seem like a bully. I really don't like to fight a man that don't want to fight. If you only want to fight guys that's been fighting since 2005, just want to mention Michael Bisbing and Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz. If you really want to be great, you got to beat somebody from this generation. What's I'm up, giving George? you the chance. Uh, <laughs> holla at your boy. Yo, people are my people, so you can just go ahead and just text my phone. And if I'm wasting my time, don't let me waste he my time. Up that let, let, let's get back to the show. Let's get back to the show. I'm sorry.